Alright, you're recording, so... You ready to go? Three, two... Well, hey, Moto Mike here, and uh, i got a special partner with me today. He goes by many names. Digital Dave, that's, Double D, that's Mis it. Mr. Dangerous. Maxis Dave, Maxis Diamond Dave. Dave. Diamond Dave. But anyway, we're uh, sitting here at Canaan Mountain. It's the first race back since the COVID. The COVIDs. The COVIDs. All, ni all 19 of them. All 19 of them. But the good news is it's going to be sunny and uh, 80 degrees, and uh, we're race We're finally back to racing. I don't know. And we're outdoors. And we're outdoors. Which is awesome because that kills the COVIDs. But my question is, why, why am I so orange? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we've been wondering that because we looked at you. <laughs> Zoom in on that. Because no, do not. <laughs> Hello. That's scary because in real life, that's what he looks like right now. It's going to be a very beautiful show. You know, <laughs> it's going to be the bestest. We're going to go bigly today. Yeah, but we're here. Digital Dave made it to the top of the mountain, Canaan Mountain. We are going to crown a king, and I normally say that backwards. But we're going to crown a king. We're going to have special guests here this weekend. A lot of people going for that five foot, six foot sword. And uh, oh, I did see the sword, oh, the uh, the award sword. That is very nice. I will tell you, it's dangerous. I and, and they're sharp. <laughs> yes, and we found that out. And they're very sharp. But the uh, IXCR always going over the top, of course, with the uh, guidance of High Octane Graphics and Jeff Rowland. He's the one behind all the cool uh, trophies that we hand out here at IXC. Jeff, do you want to stick your head into the screen here just so they can see? Oh, uh, there he oh, is. We oh, got a hand. We, that was Jeff. We got a hand. So, yeah, very talented and uh, very appreciative. I, gu I guarantee you. I mean, I'm, go <clears throat> I'm going to start it now. Austin Abney and the Gator. The Gator has been over. Is the Gator coming to this one? I cannot confirm, but... You can bet he'll be here. The Ober Tire Gator. The Ober Tire Gator. Adam McGill, definitely a fan favorite. I mean, amongst the kids, the dude's been around for a long time. And you know what? Last week, he got a podium there at the national event at GNCC. He did. You know, I've worked with Adam uh, with different products and different sponsorships over the years. And uh, he is a fan favorite. Everybody loves Adam. He does a great job with social media. So to have Adam on board, even to come out to the race to help ex to blow up the race for uh, coverage and things like that, it, there's a lot to be said for that. Pretty much uh, true on that point. And his sponsor, Over Tires, will be here this weekend. And uh, they'll be set up, I'll say, directly across from you guys. So directly across from the Maxis. The Maxis. Title guys. sponsor of IXCR. <laughs> so I, I have to say thank you for that, Dave. Well, we do appreciate you guys coming on board this year. You know what? We understand there's a lot of tire companies out here. Everybody has a personal preference. Everybody has sponsorship from different companies. And, and we get it. We can't sponsor everybody. So to be picked up by another company, that's a wonderful thing. But the best part is, is we're all out here to enjoy the sport, and that's what matters to me. I'm a, I love the sport, so if you're out here and you can get support from somebody else, I can't hold that against you. Go for it. Exactly right. And, uh, you know, talking with Tim and Michelle, the pre-registration numbers for Canaan Mountain, uh, King of the Mountain, were uh, pretty strong, so we do expect... A lot of riders being here on Saturday. That's when we run our ATV races. Saturday afternoon, evening is our side-by-sides. And man, when we were at our first round, we had just about 60 side-by-sides. There was a lot of side-by-sides out at the Badlands. It was a great to watch. Uh, but I just love being a part of the side-by-side -side part of the sport. So to see all of them out here, I'm all for it. Love and you guys, man. And definitely, Maxis has one of the better tires for the uh, side by sides and ATVs and motorcycles. My son always keeps telling me, "Hey, Dad, if you can grab me an XSI, he goes, he goes I need him for front and back." He doesn't want the front anymore. We got the no. MXST; it's the best front tire in the market. But I won't tell you that. You have to figure that out. You got to figure it out yourself, yeah. of course. And a lot of great people be uh, behind Maxis doing the. Uh, 
the work down in the trenches, testing the tire, and uh, who was on it just a few years ago that maybe won some very important race that no American has ever won before? You know, Ryan Sipes helped develop the MXST front tire, which, I, in my opinion, is one of the best front tires in the market right now. Uh, we also have Jeremy McGrath. If you're, who's, if, who's, if you own who? a motorcycle and Jeremy you don't know who? Jeremy McGrath. Take your motorcycle right now, go sell it, because yes. you're not that important. You don't understand the sport. No, I get that. But we also have Axel Hodges, uh, the guy oh. who jumps everything. Um, he's part of it now. So Axel Hodges is a Maxxis rider. Jordan Jarvis. Uh, the Thor fast, fastest Thor female on the planet? That fastest female on the planet. We've got a uh, couple of Team Green riders, like uh, Thor Powell coming up through the ranks. We have, an, we have a great moto tire right now. I, I can't deny it. You just got to try it. Yeah, I'm not quite so sure that Hodge's elevator goes all the way to the top with the, some of the stuff that's he, <laughs> that he's pulled off. I mean, he's the modern-day Travis Pastrana. And, and he's the, the cross between Travis Pastrana and Evil Knievel because the guy will jump anything. And not me. No, no, sir. No, I've, I've, I'll supply the tires, but I'm not going to be on the machine. Yeah, hey, great job on our tires. Good luck. Fly through the air, man. You're, you're on my, I'm thinking about you. Exactly. <laughs> so expecting a great weekend here at IXCR. You know, again, appreciate Dave and Maxis being with us. I know your schedule is changing hour by hour, day by day, and you were able to sneak in a visit here. You may not be with us next round, but you'll pick exactly. it up from there. Yeah, the, the whole COVID thing has just got the whole uh, off-road market and kind of in an uproar. And um, so we have to change on the fly. Uh, as much as I would love to be at a lot of the IXCR events, we'll be at as many as we can. But we have a lot of side-by-side -side events, and there are states further south that are very friendly to the sport right now. Yes. And don't give us nearly the hard time that we're getting in the some of the northern states. Uh, so we are having to change our schedule and go to where we can go. And you brought up the word fly. Fly racing, also a very important part of IXR. Did you, awesome did you see that segue. smooth? That was wow. Sad. <laughs> yeah, swing. But it uh, worked out pretty good. Austin had a prior commitment, you know, graduations, weddings, that always uh, takes place. We're a family event, and of course, family's first. So he'll, he'll be here Sunday. I can, I can guarantee you that. But uh, hey, out there, Austin, we look forward to you uh, rolling in to making it to the top of the hill. Uh, let's talk about the track a little bit. We, we spoke with Craig a little bit earlier today. The trail boss. The trail boss. And uh, he's been out here, I think, since either Monday or Tuesday laying things out. And, uh, you know, our first race on Saturday is going to be uh, our youth riders. And they have about 4.5 miles. Yeah, pretty average course, but... Uh, now, now, the youth riders, that's youths, the mini quads, the, the ute quads. The utes. The ute quads. My lawyer's son never used the word utes. Uh, I asked him to, and he says, Pops, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> so the, the, little, the little mini uh, quad riders are going to be running out there on about a 1.1 mile course. Yeah, the little fellows will be out there 1.1, 1 .1, and, and it's definitely always going to be challenging. Now, one thing unique to IXCR, we have what we call an intermediate class. So you come off the PWs, the automatics, and then you need to start going to shifters before you go to youth. We don't want to feed them to the lions. <laughs> yeah, because right? there's, a, there's a broad uh, array of riders when you put them right into the uh, youth class, like at GNCC, which is my favorite, one of my favorite series. Sure. But when you're running eight-year-olds and 10-year-olds out there with the 15-year-olds on their 250 mods, it's a, it's a crazy ball game out there. Yeah, and some of those 15-year-olds are man size already. I mean, they grow. So, you you said, know. We're talking 6'1", <laughs> <laughs> on 15 years old. I need more power, Scotty. <laughs> so we, uh, IXCR has the intermediate division to get you a little stepping stone into the youths. and uh, which, which is a great alternative with the local series. Oh, yeah. You know, there you have to take the stepping stones and use utilize your local series or your regional series before you step into the national series because there's a lot of times you can get eaten up when you oh. step into the national series. Yeah, that's, so. uh, that's a different level. You know, IXCR is also known for great competition, and we're 
we're on par. I mean, we have Jack Joy that'll be with us on Sunday. He's won a couple of uh, GNCC he races. He did. I remember that name a yeah. couple of years ago out of Peru. He uh, yeah, came home Peru. with one of the wins. Yeah, he's a pretty fast cat there. And uh, he, you know, He's real, still running super juniors? Min super minis right now on bikes. So he's like 22 running super mini now? Well, I mean, he, we've never seen his... <laughs> His driver's <laughs> license, but we do make him shave before he gets up on a podium. Now, Which is always important. He, he's actually pretty young. and uh, he, he was fast. He was a fast little rider when when I watched him out on the GNCC circuit. So to see that talent come out to the, the locals or the regionals, it's, it's really great to see. Exactly. Tomorrow afternoon being Saturday afternoon, of course, we mentioned Austin Abney. Austin's uh, won a GNCC event this year as well. And uh, he's going to be here fighting with the Gator. The Gator Slayer is what we're calling him. Oh, the old Gator Slayer. Yeah, I but, like that. Uh, I think uh, Adam, I say Adam McGill. I mean, that just sounds Southern. Adam McGill. He's a, uh, he's a West Virginia hillbilly. He's a McGill. And he'll say it. Oh, and, he's, and he's full redneck. We get it. He loves that part. Uh, but he's expected to be here Saturday afternoon as well. I, he, he's probably going to make it down for the 8 o'clock start because it's such a fan favorite. He's out there high-fiving high -fiving the kids. And you know, and, and i got to tell you, I, I've been involved in this sport for well over 25 years, and it's really awesome to see the pro riders who really don't have to be here till 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Right. You know, to get up, to make the effort to come out here, to shake the hands, to kiss the babies, and just be a part of the sport. They were all youth riders one day. So to see them out here to support the youth riders, it's it's awesome to see that. Did you see that pterodactyl just fly in front of us? I'm I like, really did. It's going to bite me. I'm glad I didn't have food here. You probably would have took No it. doubt. So you've been in uh, you've been around the circuit for 25 years. So you started when you were five, six. Uh, yeah, I'm that young. Okay. I oh actually God. retired my pro plate in '92. Good for so. you. And you know, not only at an IXCR event, dude, you travel all across i'll say america bringing maxes to the public that is correct i was in oklahoma uh two weeks ago texas last week indiana this week i go home to ohio then back to oklahoma then to texas then back to oklahoma we are we are ever evolving this year with events that are being friendly and uh we're just i'm just really enjoying it to get to see people out there um enjoying our product and, and i love bringing it to them. exactly i mean i'm gonna tie it together like fly racing does with their off-road uh gear and equipment maxis is i'll say all in for the off-road we are all in and that, that's a good thing yes so we talked about saturday we're going to wrap up Saturday night with, uh, we have Strider races. You're a little too big and too old for Strider races. I will I will go out there and take oh, on yeah. some kids. Oh, I have no doubt. Yeah. Throwing elbows? Oh, Are no doubt. In? I mean, I don't like to see them cry, but well, you, they have to fall down to understand that's part of the sport. <laughs> they have to understand. <laughs> this so is somebody's got to teach them the lesson, and, um, well... That'll be Mike. By go no, no, I'm not. I, I'm a scooter guy. I mean, we're not having scooter races here this year or this race, but uh, we're going to do Striders. Following that, I mean, IXCR racing in general is is a family deal, and at each and every round, IXCR, along with Fuel Ministries, we'll have. I call it a meal and a message. We'll feed every person here. That's nice. it, it, you know, they want to come up, we'll feed them right there. Mark Nichols from Fuel Ministries, he will uh, give us a, a short message and uh, camaraderie, fellowship, and then we're we're off to bed at that point, right? You know, it's an important part of the sport. You know, and that's that's one thing I love for our sport. We uh, we sing the national anthem before every ramp, before every race. Yes, uh, sir. We pray before every race. And that's important to be a part of this sport, and uh, I enjoy that. Yeah, uh, that, that's, I'll say it, son, that's America. America. America, as we do that. So that's going to wrap up our Saturday races. Now, our, our events uh, kick off Sunday with our AM Utes. Utes. The Utes. Did you see how I put the Utes in there? Yeah, now see, the Ute riders for Sunday get to pick up their lap distance by quite a bit yeah the Utes uh about four and a half miles for those guys 
plus or minus. Yeah, you take two wheels off and you double the distance. Yeah, that's that's what you got to do. We'll follow that up again with the uh, intermediates. The intermediates probably rolling about 1.8 miles as well. We'll uh, have peewees in uh, there. Oh, they'll go further than that. Oh, yeah, probably so. A couple of them will get lost. They'll yeah, well, they'll put, go they'll at put, least what the Utes are doing at 4-4. Well, you would think so. Well, we, I would think so. If I was a gambling guy, I would say yes. Okay, good on that. P-dubs, I say P-dubs, peewees. They'll be racing uh, Sunday as well, peewee bikes. And then we're going to roll into our AM bikes. And that will most likely be the biggest entries that we have for the weekend. So, like 40,000? Uh, last time we were at 39,500, so it could be 40. But uh, God, I love these regional events yeah, like I love this. these regionals. So, it'll be a strong showing. And then we'll have our pros um, coming up on Sunday afternoon. Of Who's, course, pros ATVs on Saturday afternoon. That's with uh, Mac Gill. Adam Mac. Yep, he's going to be here Saturday, and man, you never know, it's it's a who's who who's yeah. going to show up on Sunday for the bikes. Well, with the GNCC schedule being so crazy right now, uh, mm -hmm. I don't even know where they're racing next, but when it's further south, they don't hit as many rounds here, but right. when they start bringing the uh, GNCC series further north, you'll start seeing a lot more of the regular GNCC faces here. Um, and that's the same with the bikes as well, so it's always kind of a for lack of a better term, it's a crapshoot to see who's going to show up until it's uh, race time. And I'll tell you, part of that allure is uh, IXCR paying $750 for the pro win. I don't know why you're not here yeah. if you aren't. That's cash money, guys. That's exactly. Oh, and you want to pull a whole shot? Swing, baba bing, another couple hundred bucks. Is that the action? Action off-road. Austin Abney's sponsor. And straight yeah. from Georgia, Georgia, my state. Yeah, those guys are uh, great. They do a lot of uh, business online, and they've been around several years. I, and I, with everything going on, I'm sure their business is growing as well. Yeah, online's working great. You can't leave your house, so yeah. what do you do? You sit at home, you order stuff, and say, send it right to my front door. Exactly. I was talking with uh, Austin from Fly. He's like, man, the amount of business the shops are doing it's hard for them to get inventory and uh, of course that's putting the craze on the used bike or ATV market. I think we have a duck. There's a duck in the house? Well I'll tell you the story behind it. We're gonna, it's my wife, so we're gonna wrap this up pretty quick because I know it's very important mm -hmm. to get back to the wife's. Now she's gonna have to wait. Yeah. We're gonna do a, an endurance show tonight. <laughs> Lisa if you're listening or watching, sorry honey, but I tell you what, over the shutdown or lockdown, I have still in my pocket 990 Honeydew credits. That's awesome. She is a consistent. She, she's girl. relentless. Uh, I can't. I can't do it. This you're, is a, this is a professional show. You're being ducked right now. Uh, quacker. I ha the reason I have the duck is because sometimes when I'm doing business on the golf course, you don't hear you don't hear. Da -da 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 -da. I figured with a duck. It's at least out in nature, and it's not going to be too intrusive. I like that. I'm doing business, business. on the golf course. Business on the golf course. I used to do it, too, back when I wore a suit and tie. Uh-huh. And then I retired that stuff. Not so much anymore. So. No. No, sir. So we've got a uh, full weekend ahead of us here at IXCR, a full schedule. Go to www.com. IXCR.com. Did you hear that? It was like seven W's. Well, you know, this is the dot com era. <laughs> so, but check out IXCR.com. You know, we have a pretty pretty good uh, representation here throughout the Midwest. And if you've never been to one of our events, you should join us. You know what? I I get to travel all over the country, and I get to see events from or uh, series from Florida to Georgia to the Carolinas. Uh, even out west and yeah. I have to tell you this is probably one of the greatest family events you have ATVs for youths you have bikes for youths you have side-by-sides you have motorcycles ATVs for adults it includes the whole families I know it's hard to get the the uh, hall pass to get out of the house to say I'm going dirt bike riding bring the little one with you strider races exactly. man. Dude, it, it, it's all here at IXCR uh, 
with this being the first weekend back from the uh, COVID vacation? The COVIDs. The COVIDs. Oh, look at these shirts, man. IXCR. And the bad news is I am part of crowd control. Yeah. I'm not. I got this. I, I, I'm not. I'm just going to work with Maxis and cheer these guys on to, for crowd control. I'll throw some sanitizer at them every now and then if they yes. need it. Um, but, you know, with, with IXCR, there was a lot of protocols that had to be uh, written down, put on paper, put out for public viewing, uh, just like GNCC, just like the MX Nationals. You know, you got to have a plan. And IXCR came up with a great plan. We're able to be here this weekend. But uh, as we always say, you know the rules of engagement. And if you don't think you can handle it, then you probably should not race with us this weekend. But we want you here. Hey, wash your hands. Use some yeah. sanitizer. Use common sense. Don't lick people. Uh, I mean, just yeah. keep all that stuff to a minimum. Enjoy your life. <laughs> and I almost went off the hook there a little bit. But enjoy your life. It's not as complicated as it needs to be. Have fun, but be smart. Exactly, that, and that, that's all we can ask. And uh, we're gonna sign off here, Dave. Man, again, I appreciate you being here. And, uh, his wife is yeah, like I'm, texting him now. Okay, uh, get off the freaking air. I'm smarter than that, Jenna. <laughs> I'm gonna call her back because, uh, man, my face is still orange. <laughs> this is my nuclear friend. <laughs> nuclear. Come on, just like Bush, nuclear. <laughs> that's not, that's Carter. Uh, Jimmy? Nuclear. Nuclear. He's like a new potato. <laughs> if you just look uh, yeah. at him, just beat red. But that I'm, I'm okay. I mean, if you can't laugh at me, <laughs> who can you laugh at, right? right. So we it, laugh, we have fun, it'll we race, good. life is good. I'll be tan on Tuesday. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna do that. So. Sunday and Monday, he'll be peeling like a... Like an onion. Yeah. <laughs> like an onion. <laughs> That is a fact. So, hey, appreciate you joining here to the track cast. Of course, we got to say thank you to IXCR for uh, putting on the events here in uh, at Canaan Mountain. I think it's Canaan. It's not Canaan. It's Canaan. I Canaan it was Mountain. Canaan. Well, we're at the top of the hill. Did the Maxis rig? How was that coming up? I had quite an interesting trip up the mountain, right? avoiding trees at the chicane. Sure. And what I'm not looking forward to is the trip off. Oh the no no mountain. no. Much easier to go down the mountain. Well, everybody, you're going to get to the bottom eventually. Everybody makes it down the mountain. Just come by all the tires I have in there to help me uh, lighten, the, lighten load. the load, yep. and uh, life is good. Max just loves being a part of IXCR. We, Everyone, thanks. And we love you too, Dave. I appreciate you being here. Did we say thanks to Tim and Michelle? And, of course, um, Craig. He's been out here. He's, he's trail, boss. trail boss. We talked about that. Yes. And, of course, uh all the ladies, Michelle there, Michelle, Michelle, in registration, you can scoring, what, Brandy. You can say what you want, but without scoring and without yeah. the young ladies that help you out with signing up, these events don't happen. You might as well be uh, using carbon paper because that's how it's going to end up. Um, that's got us covered. Of course, high octane. They took care of the awards. They got this all set up, so thank you to Jeff. Jeff, put your hand back in here just to Jeff, make sure. hand. There he is. There he is. He's alive. He's still He's up. So, again, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, Moto Mike, Digital Dave, what a great show, man. We'll uh, see you here in a couple weeks. Do you know where we're going in a couple weeks? Back to Badlands. I, I know where we're going. Obviously, you don't know where we're going. And you're probably off somewhere else because your schedule's crazy. I'll be in Oklahoma. We're going to be weeks. making popcorn in Popcorn, Indiana. And that is the I will cool, not be there. That is a, that is a great facility. we got a rock jump there. Popcorn Indiana. What do you think one of the bigger industries is in Popcorn Indiana? Corn. Uh, uh, popcorn. Popcorn Indiana popcorn. You ought to check that out at is your that, grocery stores. Is that kettle corn oh, or just popcorn? They make the best kettle corn. That's sugar added corn. Oh, it's 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 addictive, and uh, we always grab a few bags. Normally, they drop off like 50 cases, so everybody that comes to the gate gets a free sample. Well, I, I, you ought to show I, up for I'll that. Maybe I'll try to be there. Then. I, I would do that. So I like me some popcorn. You know, never had a bad popcorn. We're gonna go for pickles now. Is from what I'm understanding. I've uh, got some of the best pickles. You'll I have ever no eat. doubt about that. For Digital Dave, this is Moto Mike. We're signing off here on the track cast, and we'll see you on the starting line here at IXCR, King of the Mountain. <laughs>